Noah's Ark is standing tall again this morning in central Kentucky. What some call the greatest story ever told is now shared in this massive replica. But after two years of construction, it is both a Christian theme park and a lightning rod for critics. Mark Strassman is at the Ark in Williamstown, Kentucky, where crowds are pouring in for a glimpse. Mark, good morning. Good morning. If the Ark behind me seems larger than life, well, that is the whole idea. Nothing like it has ever been built before, but critics wonder why it was ever built at all. This is the Ark Encounter, a chapter from Genesis told on a $100 million budget. Four floors of Noah, his family, and beasts, great and small. In this rendition, they sail first class through the watery chaos outside. And seeing it is a privilege and a pilgrimage to the DeMarcus family. What are your first impressions? This is breathtaking. It's amazing. The detail, just even outside, as soon as we walked up, it's just draw dropping. This timber frame arc was built with help from 100 Amish craftsmen, following specs straight from the pages of Genesis. It stands seven stories tall and runs 510 feet long. That's almost two football fields. Something to consider. This ark's Christian backers consider themselves young earth creationists. That means evolution, junk science. The earth is only 6,000 years old. Do you believe there were dinosaurs and people at the same time? Absolutely. Yep, I absolutely do. I believe they walked hand in hand. Ken Ham, the ark's 64 year old visionary, make yourself an ark, leads a ministry called Answers in Genesis. The truth is the Word of God. And we are faithfully, as faithfully as we can, representing what God's Word teaches. Mr. Bill Nye and Mr. Ken Ham. In 2014, Ham debated the truth with Bill Nye, known as the science guy on television. I take Genesis as literal history, as Jesus did. More than 5 million people have watched it online. You don't want to raise a generation of science students who don't understand how we know our place in the cosmos. On this arc, Ham sees Christians taking a stand. And what do you say to critics who say, this is not the truth, this is not scientifically based, this is promoting an ignorant view? People can say all they want and say it's ignorant and say that they don't believe it. That's fine. I invite them all to come here, everyone. Critics complain of discrimination in hiring. Only Christians, no gays or lesbians, and single people have to sign a chastity pledge. And yet the project received $18 million in Kentucky tax incentives, which a federal court upheld. Jim Helton of Tri-State Freethinkers thinks that tramples the line between church and state. Noah's Ark is a church. It is clearly a religious point of view that says science is false. Gay people are icky. True believers may flock to Ham's Ark, but he shouldn't expect an olive branch from Bill Nye. It would be a hilarious thing for people from other parts of the world to come visit. Are you kidding? Somebody really built this? Wow. Use your head, everybody. Just decide for yourself if you think this is reasonable. Ken Ham hopes to attract 2 million people to his ark in its first year. But at today's grand opening, about 150 protesters plan to create a storm of their own. Christine? All right, Mark, thank you.